Healthy Living on Dove Television. My name is Olua Femi Odunton. What Healthy Living is all about is about your health. We are always here to give information. What are the right nutrients to take? What are the right fruits to eat? What are the right uh, food to eat? The balanced diets, the exercises you need to stick to. All these and many more we do here on Healthy Living. And not just that alone. We try as much as possible to give out information. Like the Bible says, obedience is better than sacrifice. So there are some things that when we say unhealthy living, we'll try as much as possible to balance it up with those, you know, fruits you can get, vegetables, those things that you need to blend together so that you can have a nice and good smoothie to take. I have a special guest here with me in the house. Uh, but before I introduce my guest to you, like us on Facebook, uh, get to watch exciting and interesting edition on our YouTube channel. Any of the Healthy Living um, episodes you've missed out, get to log on to it and get to watch. And also you can get to watch all the ministers of God on our YouTube channel. You can get to watch our beloved Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboe. Be part of Dove Television family and God will continue to bless you. And if God has laid it in your heart to sponsor this program or you feel, yes, I would like to give gift to Dove Television or you want your product to be heard on this platform, please feel free to call us. We'll be glad to have you on board. We have a special guest. I always call my guest special because, um, you know, it's good to have people that love you so much, they love the, um, healthy living so much, and we want to be on healthy living just to pass information to viewers out there. So wherever you're watching any part of this continent, feel free, sit, relax, and be part of healthy living. We have Dr. Priscilla Imade here with us. She's a doctor of optometry with a PhD in public health. She's also a senior optometrist in Modern Eye Clinic. We have Dr. Priscilla because it's good to have Dr. Priscilla with us. We're always excited when she comes. And also she knows she's also a chair person. Yes, that's the Lagos State Women chapter. Women optometrist Women in Nigeria. optometrist in Nigeria. Yes, because I know you're always busy. Anytime I call you, say, yes, I'm not around you. I'm in the <laughs> seminar. I've been here. I'm in there. But you're doing it, you know, uh, just because you love a lot of people, you yes. love us so much. Yes. That was the time I listened to you on radio yes. and you were talking about the eyes, yes. you were talking about drivers yes. and all that stuff. Yes. And I said, ah, that's Dr. Priscilla yes. Ibadu. <laughs> and I said, wow, she's really doing a good job. I thank want to say you. We thank you, we appreciate you. Thank I you want to so say much. kudos to you for coming to Dove Television. Thank you very so, much. So uh, a lot of people will be wondering that, oh, what's today's topic going to be? But before we introduce the topic, I'd like you to please lead us in a short prayer while we proceed. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Let us pray. Father, we just thank you. We bless you, Lord, for bringing us here today. Thank you for making it possible for us to come and discuss about our eye health. I commit everything we are going to discuss into your able hands. We ask that you will teach us by your spirit and you will heal our eyes, heal our body. And at the end of this program, we'll all be blessed. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' you, name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I would like viewers at home to please kindly join us while we'll be looking at this topic of uh, myopia. Uh, some, a lot of times people will say, I can't see from afar. Some people will say, I can't see too close when objects are close or when you're trying to read one or two things and you're finding it difficult. If you have children, if you have friends, if you have neighbors, if you have anyone around you, I think this is a high time you just need to stick to Dove Television just to get this clear information because we have a senior optometrist in the house with us. So please come along while we look at this topic. All right, Ma, I, I know for years we've talked about it, maybe for so long we talked about this uh, short-sightedness of um, people trying to see things and they can't really see when it's, it's right when the object is close to them or when you have a bright light and they say, oh, I can't see, dim the light, dim the light is away. So, so Ma, we would like you to tell us you know, a brief explanation or an explanation, let me yes. not say brief. I don't want it to short it so that people can get to understand what myopia is. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very, very much, Sister Femi. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you are doing a great job too. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> yes. Um, when we talk about myopia, um, another word for myopia is short-sightedness mm. or near-sightedness. You see, uh, myopia, it's... Um, is uh, the word myopia is the commonest 
refractive word that everybody uses, whether you are a medical person or a non-medical person. Mm. You see, sometimes when you want to address people or maybe you, there's something you seek to correct in somebody, you can say, ah, don't be myopic or don't be short-sighted. By that, you are simply telling the person to look far, mm. to see far, to look beyond the nose. Mm. So myopia means a person is able you know, to see things that are very close to him or her very, very clearly. Mm. But when the things are far, such a person cannot see. Mm. And um, myopia is a type of refractive error. Okay. We have different refractive errors in the eye. When we talk about errors, we are talking about anomalies. You see, it's light that makes us to see. And this light, they are supposed to be focused on the retina. And then the retina sends the message to the brain. The brain will interpret what you are seeing. Mm. So for somebody that is short-sighted, the light rays that is supposed to be focused on the eye or on the retina does not get focused on the retina. It gets focused in front or before the retina. Mm. And when that happens, the retina is not able to send proper message to the brain. So objects that are far from that person will appear blurry. And when we talk about maybe the eyeball being, maybe a uh, uh, light rays falling in front of the retina, we are simply looking at the anatomical structures okay. of, you know, the, the eyeball. And we can say that maybe the eyeball, the axial length of the eyeball is a bit too large, okay. such that when light rays enters the eye, it doesn't get to the uh, retina. And as such, the person will now be, try to make a conscious effort to clear those images. And when that happens, distant object becomes blurry. blurry. It's only objects that are close to you that you will see clearly. So that is why we say myopic people, we see things that are very near to them, mm. crisply, clearly, sharply. But once it is far, they are really not able to see clearly. it yet clearly. Mm. Now, myopia is the commonest refractive error that we have. When, what we mean by that is this. Most people that have eye problem or that, have, uh, that wear glasses, mm. so to speak, they are short-sighted. Yes, myopia is the commonest, especially in children. Mm. Why is it the commonest? You see, most times, because of our genetics and environmental factors, it has kind of, you know, increased uh, myopia in the world today. Now, if somebody has uh, myopia, it is easier to detect it than somebody that have other kind of refractive error, say like uh, hyperopia, okay. which is long sight, okay. or astigmatism, or presbyopia. Mm -hmm. Now, for somebody that has myopia, let me give, use a child as an example. If your child has myopia and the child goes to school, the teacher writes on the board and the child is not able to see, the child can complain to the teacher and say, oh, I cannot see what you have written on the board. Same child can also go home and complain to the parents and say, okay, I cannot see what my teacher writes on the board. Oh. Once that happens, the parent may begin to suspect that, okay, perhaps this child could be having an eye problem. Okay. And it's easier for a child that has myopia to complain mm. compared to a child that has other eye problems like astigmatism, long-sightedness or hyperopia, you know, it will be difficult for such a child to complain because the symptoms are a bit different. Now, because myopia too is easy to diagnose, it's also a bit tricky and most times parents, um, may tend to ignore maybe complaints from their children. Mm. You see, most times when children complain to their parents, first they may think these children, they are malingering, mm -hmm. or maybe they are just, they just joking about, joking about or maybe because their friends are wearing when glasses, glasses they, they, want, to, to, they mm. want to wear glasses. So most times, they first of all do home remedy. They can, if it's in school, they will say, okay, the teacher can bring the child from the back of the class you know, to the front of the class. I say, okay, sit in front. 
and be writing. And of course, the child will be doing, we, we write and see clearly. But then the myopia is, is still there. But if it is um, other type of refractive error, say like um, long sight, mm. it's difficult most times for people to readily mm. know children that have um, hyperopic symptoms. Okay. If a child has, say, hyperopia, remember we say refractive error. Myopia yeah. is a type of refractive error. Mm. And we have about three or four as far as the eye is concerned. We have the short side, long side, astigmatism, and presbyopia. So for a child that has another type of refractive error, say hyperopia, long sight, you know, the child can come home and complain to the mother and say, ah, eh, mommy, anytime my teacher writes or I'm copying from the board, I feel tired or I have headache or I feel weak. Most times the mother or even the teacher would diagnose something else. He might tend to think that, okay, maybe this might be malaria. So most times hyperopia, is not easily diagnosed by maybe teachers or parents at home. Ooh. But unlike myopia, that when the child says, I cannot see what my teacher writes on the board, if he complain once, twice, or the third time, as a parent, you, you to tend to link it with the eye. Hmm. But another type of eye problem, like hyperopia, long sight, parents and teachers may not readily link it to the eye. Because when the child says, ah, mommy, I have a headache anytime I'm copying from the board. Or I feel tired. Or say maybe this child will go and be treating malaria or something else. Mm. You understand? So it's easier to diagnose myopia. And myopia is the most commonest type of refractive error that is diagnosed and easily treated. Mm. And statistics says that in the whole world, we have about 1.5 billion people who are myopic. Mm. Let's come home to Nigeria. Okay. In Nigeria, we have about 1.5 million, million people who are short-sighted, who are myopic. Mm. Well, there's another school of thought that says, okay, we are sure that this is not the true figure because most people actually are not detected, mm. are not checked. Like in most schools, we don't do school, uh, vision screening to mm. detect because most times you detect myopia between the ages of, say, um, say like five till about 10 mm. till about 18 mm. because mo that's about that age uh, at most 20 that if a child is myopic he cannot really hide it at that age it will be detected mm. so but we find out that most times in nigeria many of our, ch our children don't really do eye tests at that age even when they do we don't really compile the statistics mm. so some school of thought have argued that the number we have in Nigeria may actually be more than that. But because maybe we don't have a proper record or a proper method of checking, mm. that that's why we have it at that. But even with that number, myopia is still the highest refractive error in children in Nigeria. And then uncorrected myopia is one of the commonest causes of visual impairment. We have discussed okay. visual impairment. There are yes. things that can actually reduce your vision or cause you to have a vision problem. Myopia still is the okay. commonest. Mm. And then myopia is increasing. That's what the statistics say. And there are so many reasons for that. As we discuss on in the program, I'm going to um, explain that. Mm. And then all over the world too, myopia is very, very common. Like we have said, mm. we have 1.4. 1.5 billion mm. in the world. In Asia, for example, we have like 70 to 90 percent of people having uh, myopia, whether children or adults. Mm. And then in Europe and US, it's about 30 to 40 percent. But wow. in Africa, it's about 10 to 20. Mm. 10 to 20 in Africa because of so many factors, such as environmental factors. And then people see argue that okay, maybe because we are not testing enough. Hmm. Quickly, I want to look at the symptoms of uh, myopia. The first symptom that you will notice if you are myopic or a teacher will notice or a parent will notice about a child, because most times myopia is detected in children between the ages of, say, about 5 till about 18, 20 years. Okay. You will readily know that a child is myopic. The first uh, symptom you will notice is that this child will be having difficulty seeing things that are far. Okay. The teacher writes on the board, the child cannot see very well. Even as an adult too, 
when things are very far from you, you are not able to see it mm. very well. Sometimes you get to squint. You have your to squint. Eyes. Yes, so yes. That's the, the second uh, uh, symptom of myopia. If you have to squint, you have to close your eyes. Squinting means closing your eyes to see. You mm -hmm. have to dim your eye. Whenever there is light, it, it upsets you. You have to like dim your eye to be able to cut off light, to be able to see. That's a, 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 a symptom mm. that one might be having myopia. Eye strain too, because you are not seeing things that are far very well. So you try to strain, strain your eyes. eyes to see them. So you'll be having eye strain. And then squinting, like we have said before, and then tiredness. Whether when you are, if you are a student, you are copying from your board writing, before you know you get tired. If you are a driver too, and there is myopia, you will get tired easily driving. Why? Because in driving, you have to be looking far. You have to look straight up ahead. Mm. You have to look into the distance. When there is myopia, when there is short sight, you discover that when you drive for a while, before you know you are tired, you are feeling sleepy. Mm. You just want to rest your head. You mm. just want to relax. So if you are having that symptom, it could be that you are short-sighted. And then for short-sighted people too, most times they hold their book very close to the eyes or to the face. Mm. For example, this is the normal reading distance. We, we say reading distance should be at arm's length or 40 centimeters. Okay. So people who are short-sighted, they tend to take it closer like this. Mm. Even some so close, some will just look into the book. So when that happens, it's a possibility that such a person has a myopia. Mm. And then in children too, we have also found out there are children who have myopia, they have short attention span. They are really not able to concentrate and focus whenever their teacher they are, is teaching or they are writing or on their schoolwork. Really? Because, yes, because imagine a child is, is listening to the teacher or is copying because the child cannot see very well. You know, sometimes the letters or the numbers that the teacher will write on the board may not be as distinct as they should be. Mm. The teacher could write, say, nine number nine on the board the student may see it as seven you see before you know it by the time you keep repeating this over time you know you are putting a strain on the eye, on the, eye. the the child or the student too becomes stressed up mm. before you know it is tired and a short attention span sets in and the child will want to stop whatever work mm. he or she is doing mm. so that at least he can re rest. And this has also been found to lead to poor grades. Many children who are not doing well in school today, it is not all of them that are done this, sorry to use that word, or that are not intelligent. Quite a number of them have re refractive errors, visual problems that are undetected mm. and uncorrected. Mm. And myopia is one of them. And we have several cases like that. I've seen so many, so many. Like uh, there was a time I, I was in Delta State. We did a screening some years ago. So a child, the mother complained that, you know, when the child was at a younger age, like uh, primary one, primary two, primary two, that the child was doing well. But as the child moved on now to like primary six, that she has noticed that the son is no longer doing well. Hmm. And when they give him homework, the mother will help him at home. Okay. He will do it very well. But in school, mm -hmm. give him the same work, he's really not able to do mm -hmm. it very well. Mm -hmm. So we said, okay, bring this child for an eye examination. When we check, we discovered that this child had myopic astigmatism. And so when he's in school, most times the teacher will write on the board. He will not see very well what the teacher has written. So he writes what he feels or what he felt. Yes, it's on the board. And then... All these things started affecting his work. Hmm. But by the time we corrected him and gave him a pair of glasses, his school work picked up. In fact, the mother was so happy. She, you know, came to, to do Thanksgiving. There I are so many this, cases this, like that. This is very important now that all schools should um, have someone in, on board, someone yes. like you, yes. you have a hospital. School vision screening. Yes, yeah, school vision screening. I yes. think it's very important at yes. this time that schools should invite uh, uh, you to come and yes. do screening for their children. Yes. So that, um, yes, I know a lot of times people, parents will say, ah, when it comes to optometrists, their money is too expensive. <laughs> ah, they, they do this. They but once they're screening, <laughs> and it's like the school is the one organizing it. Yes. And like you ask parents to pay 1000 yes. or 2000 for it. Yes. I think it would be better. It's it really al always, always better. It always, really helps. Because at times always, we have children better. complaining to their parents. And parents say, shut up because yes. you have your, your friends wearing yes. glasses. You want to wear glasses. Exactly. You, don't wear, you are healed in Jesus' name. Yes. Or you are this. 
this is uh, you know you, you are covered your eyes can open you, you it will understand see. the Don't situation <laughs> i can do that i can i know myself it's something i can't do <laughs> i'm just trying to tell you you know like i decided you know, the press i was like i ah, know just try as much as possible don't worry you will see use water and rub your face wash the face wash the face when, wash. when you wake up <laughs> You know, that kind of a thing. Uh, no. Mothers, we are very funny. Uh, very, 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 very. So, but with what you're telling us yes. now, it's an eye opening. Because I wanted to ask a question can it lead to blindness? Because that's the most, you know, yes. scary part of it. Yes. It doesn't lead to blindness. That's the end stage. Very high myopia. Really? Uh, yes. Because we'll talk about complications of myopia as we talk on in the program. Okay. Yes, yeah, some people have significant amount of myopia that, you see, there was a time in my association, Nigeria Optometric Association, we went to the school of the blind and did screening. And we found out yeah, about one or two who, you know, with glasses, they were able to be taken off because they had very high myopia, like minus 20, minus 22. Hmm. When somebody has such a high amount of myopia, you will not see anything and you will think the person is blind. But with glasses, you discover that the person is able to it. see. So when there is degenerative myopia or very high amount of myopia, yes, the person may have low vision or be temporarily blind or, you know. So, but when it's corrected, the person is able to see again. And this issue of poor grades in school that we are talking about, remember the story of uh, uh, Dr. Benjamin Carlson yeah. of uh, America? Yeah. You know, he's the f new first neuro black neurosurgeon hmm. to separate the conjoined uh, twins. You know, he was talking about his uh, biography in Gifted Hands, that he wasn't doing well in school until the mother took him for an eye examination. Yeah. It's possible the mother listened to a program like this, and then she decided to act mm. and took the child for an eye examination. Mm. When she I was... think you need to speak to parents right now. You just <laughs> need to face the camera and tell parents that this is... Yes. Even schools are... Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I've seen several, several cases because I'm involved in school vision screening. I do a lot of eye care consultancy work. So if parents are able to uh, detect vision problem early in children and correct it, the grades will pick, just like we had in the case of uh, Benjamin Carlson. Mm. Later became first black neurosurgeon in the whole wide world. Mm. So that's a great fit. And personally, in my own eye health ministry, because my eye ministry is, is a ministry for me. Wow. Yes, exactly. yes, yes, yes. So there's so yes. much passion in it. Of course, mm. because I know that by the grace of God, one of my mission or vision statement is to reduce avoidable blindness in Nigeria. Wow. Remember, I'm a PhD student. Yes. Um, I'm a PhD holder. So I, I do a lot of advocacy work to let people know about their eye health. And we also do a lot of screening and eye testing to tell people that, look, there is no need for you to be blind. Information is powerful. When mm. you hear and mm. you do, mm. there, in fact, you can be taken from that statistics or that equation of, you know, like WHO said, 80% of uh, avoidable blindness is what is causing blindness in Africa, in Nigeria. Mm. So when we hear things like this and we act, it can actually take people off that statistics. I think I want to say thank God for Dove Television because we keep bringing different yes, doctors all over exactly. the world to come and speak with us, yes. to tell us things to know about our health. Yes. So there are several doctors that have been on this platform yes, on healthy yes, living. Yes. And um, you know, the issue of health is something that we need to take very important. There's a word in the Bible that says uh, a good heart does marry a, Makes, yes, married Mary. to the body. Yes. Why a broken spirit died the bones. bones. God is just trying to tell us that your health is very yes, important. Of course. When you are happy, yes. when inside of you are happy, yes. brings out that joy yes. outside yes. also. When you don't feel bitter about mm. anything, you look, your, your skin glows. Exactly. When you say you have money and you, you can't take care of yourself very well <laughs> and you are falling sick today, tomorrow. <laughs> What's the essence of that money? So you have to be very happy. Healthy. healthy, exactly. Very, very healthy. Yes. And the Bible says the eye is the light of the body. I'm telling you. So for us, the eye, the importance of the eye cannot be overemphasized. All right, now, please. Quickly, let's look at the risk factors for myopia. Okay. Number one, near work. Hmm. When you are always doing near work, especially from childhood, it can predispose one to myopia. Now, when we talk about risk factors, we are not saying these are the things that we cause it. Hmm. Risk factors means... These are likely uh, things that can predispose you, or if there's a tendency of you to have myopia already, these are the things that will make that myopia to just come out. Mm. So they are like predisposing factors. Okay, if you are always indoors, and these days, that is what we have. Mm. We find out that our children, they are always indoors. Mm. Now, they move from their AC bedroom 
to their AC car, <laughs> to their AC classroom. I know you keep we saying have said, No, we when we talk it, about, yes. yeah, when we talk you about cause about factors it. for myopia, the school of thought is that it is genetic and mm. then environmental factors. Mm. And other environmental factors, this can come under that. So you discover that most times when you are indoors, you do near work. Mm. And the more your near work increases, the, f the tendency for myopia to manifest. So staying indoors mm. have been implicated. And that's why in Asia, for example, children that are in Asia, they tend to have more myopia because they're always indoors. Mm. Studies have shown, have shown that. And then when there's a family history, if your father or your mother is short-sighted, if you have children, there's the probability there's that, that they yes, will also they will be also be short-sighted. If not all, at least three will be short-sighted. So one has to be careful. And then if your great-grandparents too have it, there's mm. a tendency for you to, to also have it. And then urbanization have also been implicated. We are living in a digital world now. We are living in a scientific mm. world. Everything has been computerized. See, now we are digital. using our tablets now. Yes. Everything. We'll come back to that <laughs> digital world that we are going to, of course. Because most of <laughs> times, we parents, we are guilty of something. It's like when we are busy and we don't want our younger ones, our little ones to disturb us. All we just need to do is take the phone. Yes. Then you just take your hands exactly. off it. Exactly. Let the games. child play with the phone. Mm -hmm. All right. At this point, Ma, we would like to go on a quick break to everyone who has been part of Healthy Living. Not to worry, we still have our doctor here with us in the house. Dr. Priscilla Imade will be coming back and we'll be want to pick your calls to hear from you out there. Let's go on a quick break. We'll be right back. Thank you. Welcome to the Open Heavens International Center. I believe that what you see and hear here will arouse your faith and your life will never remain the same. Challenge God using what you see here as a point of contact for your miracle. It is only those who have been sick who will know the value of being healed. Particularly when the sickness is the one they say cannot be cured. Doesn't matter what the doctor said, you will be healed. But it is better to be healthy, not to be sick at all. Better still to be the one healing the sick. In Mark 16, from verse 17 to 18, 16, 17 to 18. Jesus said, These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they went down to say, They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And I pray for every one of you. From today onward, not only will you be healthy, when you lay hands on the sick, they will recover. Right, welcome back to the Healthy Living on Dove Television. Uh, it's high time to pick up your phone and dial the number that will be displayed right there on your TV screen. But remember to tell us your name and where you are calling from. Kindly mute the volume. We keep saying this to people that wherever you are, where you call, we want others to listen to your questions. We would like to listen to your questions, please. Kindly um, reduce the volume on your television set so that we can, uh, we can be hearing both voices talking at the same time. God bless you. We still have Dr. Priscilla Imade here with us. She's a doctor of optometry with a PhD in public health. She's also a senior optometrist in Modern Eye Clinic. This is your Modern Eye Clinic. Where is it located? 
is uh, no, Jodu Lagos. Okay. Opposite uh, Omoli Estate Phase okay. 1. Okay, okay. Yes. Opposite Omoli Estate Phase, phase one. 1. So yes. for people that are not staying in Lagos yes. and they would like to, you know, get in touch with you. I, 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 I won't forget that we we're talking about the AC car and we'll still come back to that. <laughs> but for people that are not in Lagos and yes. in other states or other country, yes. you have a contact, you yes. have somewhere they can yes, get they to can mail get you. in touch with me, yes, okay. and I will link them up. Okay, yes. so we we'll have Dr. Priscilla in Madi's number display. Yes. All right, we're, we're talking about the AC car, yes, the AC yes, house, the yes, AC office, yes, yes. Uh, the AC equipment. <laughs> <laughs> All of this. We are raising uh, digital children. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, you know, we, we said that myopia, the probable causes, uh, one could be genetics and environmental factors. Mm. So under environmental factors, we are now looking at, you know, the kind of activities that our children do now. Okay, ma, I mm -hmm. want to come back to, I want to come back to what you said it could be genetic. So are you saying that if I have a mother that doesn't use gases, my grandparents don't use gases, my dad's family, so definitely my children will not have any cause to use gases. They did not test. Your parents did not check their eyes. It's possible your parents, your great-grandparents were not educated. Mm. They were not reading. Mm. They did not go to school. Mm. So they didn't have the need, you know, to, to have a problem. Test. And oh. mind you, you know, we said at the beginning that myopia has to do with near work. Hmm. So the more you do near work, the more complicated myopia is. Your grandparents, they, they will not need glasses to see their young seedlings. Hmm. But if we write a uh, printed material, you need a crisp vision to okay. be able to see that. All right, we have a caller from Lagos. Aki, uh, let's have Aki from Lagos. Thank you for calling. Okay. Please go ahead with your question. We can hear you. Hello, ma. How are you, ma? I'm, I'm fine. fine. Uh, good morning, man. That is a great job. Thank you. And I want to greet our doctor. I have a little challenges with my eye recently. Mm. Hello? Yes, I can hear you, sir. Please go ahead. Yeah. My eyes used to itch me sometimes. Mm. And sometimes used to drop water regularly. So I want to know what I can do. All right, sir. Thank you so much. The doctor will attend to you. Thank you. All right, ma. Okay. Mm -hmm. Itching and dropping of water. One, I would have loved to ask him his age. And if he's on any other medication, now, most time, itching and dropping of water may have to do with irritations on the eye surface, mm. allergy. You know, when there is irritation on the eye surface, one of the ways the eye will give you a feedback is to start itching and tears or water will be dropping. So when that happens, there are drugs we can give you to... to to mitigate the effect. But we need to look for the underlying cause. Now, for people who are hypertensive, diabetic, or on any systemic medication for a long time, mm. one of the eye side effects could be um, dry eye syndrome, which can make you to itch and tears to drop from the eyes. Mm. So when that happens, we, they, we have to also look at it and look for how to you know, find a balance okay. between the two. And then if it is a case of pure allergic conjunctivitis, we also need to look at the causal factor. Maybe your environment, the kind of work you are doing. If you're always on your system, for example, and your eyes is reacting to the rays of light coming from your system, okay. it could happen. So the kind of occupation, the kind of work you do, we also need to be looked at. And then if need be, we can give you some protective glasses that will help to protect your eyes so that those causal factors or the things that is causing the eye to be allergic can be reduced or you know, uh, your eyes can be protected. Oh. So go for an eye examination so okay. that a proper differential diagnosis can be done. All right, thank you, ma'am. Mm. Now I want to take you back to when you talked about age, that you wanted to ask him his yes. age, but though it went yes. off. Now, does age affect in what was saying? Vision and age, they, they are five and six, they okay, go together. Okay, so let's look at the age Now, range. for age, age will help us to know if we are correcting you for glasses, the kind of glasses to give to you. Age will help us to know if you are hypertensive or diabetic or on any medication that, you know, is chronic, that can be managed. And all these things, they have side effects okay. on your vision. And most times, chro the chronology mm. is according to age. All the corrections, even medications, when we are giving you medication, we we'll look at what's your, your age. age. So Before those things, they to... matter. So please don't lie deep. about your age. Mm. Thank you, Mahogoma. We have a call from uh, Kano. <laughs> and I had to from Kano. I hope I pronounced your name very well. Hello? Hello, Goma. Thank you for calling. Please go ahead with your question. 
Okay. Um, this time I've been using my system first. And I noticed that my eyes, uh, when I want to read, I have to hold my afar before I'll be able to see what I'm reading. Mm. So I don't know to get some glasses. And how I noticed old? that using the glasses as if it's making my eyes. How so old are you? What's the solution? Now, how old are you? I'm 45 now. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling from Kano. Have a lovely day. All right. Yes. Her own is straightforward. <laughs> I suspect she's presbyopic. Okay. Yes, presbyopia means the effect of age is telling on the natural lens in your eye. Your muscles are getting weak. The lens, too, is getting weak. It can no longer accommodate or focus light adequately, especially when you are looking at close-up objects. Hmm. And then using system or your computer, visual display units regularly, too, can further aggravate the eye condition. There's what we call computer vision syndrome. So you may have to go for an eye examination and glasses will be given to you to help you to read better. And if there is any form of um, dryness in the eye, you know, tear supplements too can also be given to you and this will help you see better. Hmm. I like the fact that you said we should not lie about our age. Yes. Because a lot of time people lied about their they age. They have uh, political yeah, age. Yeah, they have political they have, age. Uh, they have um, semi, <laughs> you know, all those kind of well. age that we don't want to mention here. <laughs> <laughs> but now that you said it, that if you are yeah. going for eye check, yes. please don't yes. lie about Most your age. Time we if you are 13 year old, say I'm 13. If you are not up to 36, don't say ah, I'm above 36, I'm 40. By that, they gave you medication for 45 years. <laughs> You find yourself in a way that you would. Okay, now, what other things? Now, you know, a lot of times I will bring doctor here. We say, okay. Now, for someone that will say, okay, I don't have much. The little I have is just to sustain myself and my family. Now, are there other vegetables or are there natural food that we can eat that can help? You know, a lot of times, Dr. Chris will say, if you have as little as 100 naira or 150, it will help you get a particular food. You get to get several foods. Yes. And you eat them. Yes. Or you, you see, blend them. Healthy living is a lifestyle. Hmm. See, you need to start reorientating yourself to right. live well, to live healthy. Yourself. Yes. We have Samuel from Akwai Bomb. Hello, Samuel. Hello, Samuel. Thank you for calling. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes, I'm there. All right, please go ahead with your question. Okay. I, I used to have an eye problem as in when if I'm driving, maybe because of the AC, I think so. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you. Yes. When I'm driving, water will be coming out of my eyes. I don't know if it's because of the AC or something. Or sometimes if I sit in a cold place, I'll be having water running from my eyes. How old are you? I'm 48. 48. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Thank you so much yes. for calling. Okay. Thank you. The doctor will get back to you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when he's driving. When he's driving. When he's in the cold place. Yes. Yes. It's always coming. coming. I suspect he could be having dry eye syndrome or okay. presbyopia. Okay. So that means that, you know, because it, you, when you are driving, you tend to open your eyes mm. and tears tend to evaporate from the eyes. Mm. And with time, the eye feels dry. And one of the ways it, the eye will rewet itself is by tears coming out or you know, pouring out. So you need to go for an eye examination. You can be given some eye drops that will help you. Mm. But beyond eye drops, you may be given glasses too that will also help you, you know, to be able to see, to see very well mm. and then to drive well and then to mitigate these symptoms that you have talked about. And also, if you are hypertensive or diabetic, mm. or you are on other medications, okay. you may also need to discuss that with your optometrist so that you can look for a way around it because it could be a side effect too of okay. some of those drugs. Okay, we have a text saying, if you, okay, if your eye has myopia, what should I do? Okay, good. That's, we are coming to a correction of myopia. Myopia can be corrected with eyeglasses. Remember we said, is the, simplest or the commonest form of refractive error. We'll come back to that question. We have goodness from uh, Potakot. Hello, goodness. Thank you for calling. Hello. Hello, good morning. All right, please speak up. Thank you for calling. Go ahead with your question. All right. Um, if my husband, at any time he wants to read, when the book, when he throws that to him, he can't read very well, except his fast. 
Mm. And he has been having meetings in his uh, high, so I don't know what he can do. How old? How old is your husband, ma? He's 45 years. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you so much, ma. God bless you. Please listen. No. Yeah, I can say straight away that he has pressed myopia. It's okay. not myopia. That means the effect of age is telling on the natural lens in the eye and on his eye muscles. Mm. So he will need reading glasses okay. to help him to read. It's the strain that he puts on the book that will now make tears or eat him to or make the eye to be having discomfort. And then for him to be able to see, he has to like push the book far away far like away. this to be able to see it. So it's pressed myopia that commonly does that. So your husband should go for an eye examination and reading glasses will be given to him. Now, let's go back to the solution. Okay, Maybe solution, eyeglasses, yes. Myopia. Yes, we use um, concave lenses to correct myopia. You can be given a pair of glasses like the one I'm wearing now to correct uh, myopia. Hmm. Contact lenses too can also be given. You can wear contact lenses over the eyes. And then refractive surgery too can be done. And also there are new um, scientific discoveries now that you can actually reduce the progression of myopia at a certain age. Okay. Yes, especially in, in childhood or within the teenage ages. Hmm. If the child is brought early to the clinic and corrected, there are certain corrective measures or lenses that can be used. For example, we have what we call auto K. Okay, or, we'll come back to that lenses. We have Susan from Lagos. Hello, Susan. Yes. Yeah. All right, yeah. Susan, thank you for calling. Please go ahead with your question. Okay. I have um I have a question for the doctor. Okay. I'm having this um itchy eyes, serious itchy eyes. I'm always itching my eyes, and my eyes are sun dry. But especially when it's either maybe if I'm having cold or I take and um, I soak Gary, mm. like it's funny, right? Yeah. If I soak Gary, I will be having itchy eyes after a few hours or a few days. Okay. How old are you, I'll please? Be having, um, I'm, I'm 31. Okay, okay, that's fine. Thank you. That's fine. But we are back to Gary again. That even my daughter has itchy eyes. Okay. So I don't know, is it, um, is it, um, uh, uh, hereditary? Uh, hereditary. Hereditary. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you. Susan. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this is very you know interesting. The part I like is when I saw Gary. That Gary part. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but from, from what she has said, I, I can deduce that she's having allergic conjunctivitis. Okay. You see, we react. Femi, your eyes and my eyes are not the same. Yes. Your body and my body, yes. they are not the same. We are different. Mm. There are some things you will take that you react to. I can take it, I may not react to mm. it. And then these things too can flow down our family lines, mm. our lineages. Like so she has said the now, daughter the too. daughter, yes, eye problems can be inherited. Mm. It's a very strong factor. Mm. So if you sow Gary and you itch, it means you are allergic to Gary. And we've talked about Gary before. Mm. We said Gary contains cyanide. Mm. And it depends on the level of cyanide in the Gary that you are consuming. So please, any food at all that you eat, you that react you react to, it, to it's, it's better it. you stop it. Okay. Yes, so for the itching, go for an eye examination. You can be given eye drops that can help, you know, to stop that itching. Or glasses if there is a refractive error, underlying refractive error. And then you need to also look around your environment. Environmental factors can also make you itch. If some people that have rug in their homes... I'll come back to the issue of rug. Christana from Lagos. Hello, Christana. Hello, Christana. Yeah, I'm on the line. Yes, we can hear you. Kindly tell us your, <laughs> your question. Thank you. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead, Ma. Oh, okay. I'm having the eye problem for the past two weeks now. Hello, good morning, Ma. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. You've been having so it for the past morning, two weeks. Ma. Yes. All right, Ma. Hello, okay. I think I'm I think Chris. I problem past two weeks now. Okay. Hello. Please, can we I just tell Christina to call back later? I think she's trying to listen to your television. Thank you. God bless you. All right. We would like to take some text messages. So please, let's just take these messages because we have a lot of them. Hello. Thank you for this program. Mine is the case of seeing closed objects from very far. It happens at night, but not at all the time. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's fine. There's what we also call nocturnal myopia. Okay. We're looking, coming to types of myopia. Sometimes for some people who are myopic, who are short-sighted, it's only in the night too. 
during the day they will be seen, but at Plenty. night, yes, wow. there's nocturnal myopia. In fact, I had a case like that of which the mother brought the child to my clinic. If and when she came, she was crying, wailing that, oh, our enemies are at it. This is the girl that is helping her because the husband was ill, was in the hospitalized for a very long time. And then when he got discharged and, you know, he came home, the next thing was that the daughter was bumping into objects at night. So she felt somebody was doing her. And, you know, she kept doing all different, different types of home remedy until the uncle now advised that they should bring that child for an eye examination. When we checked, we discovered that she had myopic astigmatism. So oh. with a pair of glasses, she was corrected. Okay, at In night. the night, they don't see. Really? Yes. We call that good information. Yes, we call that nocturnal myopia. Okay. Night blindness, so to speak. Oh, at yes. night, at they, night don't they don't see. But daytime, daytime they see Daytime, they will see. They are able to manage. So in the night, it becomes very worse. Mm. And because it's worse, they are no longer able to. Because I wanted to ask, is she an abino? No. So, go for an eye examination, you'll be examined. If it is myopia or refractive error that is causing it, you'll be wow. corrected. There are other problems, too, that may make somebody not to see very well at night. Retinitis, pigmentosa, and so many other eye conditions. Wow. So, but when you go for an eye examination, so it is you very, will be very important that whether you are seeing or not. Go yes, for an eye yes, examination yes, yes, yes. to be sure that I don't have the symptom yes. and I don't think I will even have it. You yes, understand? Yes. So, I think it's very important yes. for us to just go for an eye. Exactly. Check. All right, thank you. When I yearn, my eyes become wet. I was okay. told it's an eye defect. Uh, she, this person is male, seventeen year old. Okay. Wow, it's 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 a bit rare. It's not so common. Some people when they yawn, mm. you their eye gets wet. Some people too when they laugh, their eyes will get wet. You see tears will be coming out as they are laughing. Sometimes these are reflex actions, but you need to go for an eye examination to be sure that eye your eyes um, there's no eye problem underlying. When you have done all that and you know, there's no problem. You can relax. All right, we have yes. Faith calling from Delta. Hello, Faith. Hi, how are you? Hello? Hello? All right, that is off. All right, thank you so much for calling. We can pick your call probably before we take our last text. All right, this is uh, a text saying, Hello, Ma, I've, I'm, I am Faith texting you from Bayesa State. The husband to be grandma is having an issue, eye issue. I knew her when her eyes was okay, but one day she started having this eye issue and now she can't even see. Is wow. there any chance that I might give birth to a baby that will also have the same issue? Wow, there is. So there is. We remember we said eye problems can be inherited. 80%, that's what statistics says, that 80% of visual impairments can be inherited. So if you already have that experience find out first what made your husband go blind is mm. it glaucoma is it f whatever it is find out the diagnosis and then once you give birth please start taking that child for an eye examination and we advocate that eye tests should be done at birth when the child is six months one year three years then from the age of five, year after year, or every two yearly, if mm. there is no problem. Mm. And then when you are over 40, you should also have your eyes examined at least once every year. So okay. please, make uh, we sure have you are checking your eyes. Text. Hello, Ma. Please, Ma. One of the twin is three years old. Sometimes when tears is always coming out of her eyes when she's watching TV. Please, Ma, what may be the cause? Okay, that's fine. If she's watching TV and tears is coming out, it's possible she could have a refractive error. Okay. Another thing, too, for children younger than that, sometimes we have um, in the eye, there's what we call punctum. There are two holes at the inner parts of the eye where tears are supposed to pass. Sometimes in some children, newborn, that it could be blocked. So about the age of three months, six months, or there about, you just see tears splashing out. Or one year, below three years. Once this happens, take that child for an eye examination. Let's be sure the punctums, they are working. There's no defect. And if that is ruled out, it could be a refractive error if, or an infection. Mm. So once the child is properly um, examined and diagnosed, then the appropriate treatment will be given. I don't given. want to forget the fruits. Is there yes, fruits we can so take? many, so many. Other ways of um, okay, tips or management in. of um, uh, myopia, diet is number one. Okay. We should not substitute water with carbonated drinks. drinks. When you take a lot of caffeine or carbonated drink, it can mm. make your myopia worse. Eating food rich in vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin C. I heard carrots is also water. good when you blend carrots. Carrot juice, mm. cucumber, cabbage. 
those are moringa mm. very good for the eyes as well okay. you can have a blend of it and take you know a cup of it every morning and in the evening is really going to help um, your eyes all right, that's how far we can go ma <laughs> we like it to please wrap it up with a prayer from you okay ma. yes thank ma. you time so is up. much yes, yeah ma. let us pray father we thank you for our discussions thank today you, on myopia we may not have been able to exhaust everything but Lord, we trust that you will expand these words in the hearts of our, listen, our listeners and Amen. viewers. That Lord, they, their eyes and their vision, their general health will be good in the name of Jesus. Amen. You give them the grace to do the right thing as far as visual correction is concerned Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We ask for your blessing upon those television, upon our daddy in the Lord, and upon the whole redeemed Christian church of God. Father. Let your blessing never depart from us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for hearing our Thank prayers. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Ma, for coming. I'm Thank sure your you. number is being displayed on the TV screen. Okay. Thank you, Ma. For everyone who has missed this episode, please log on to our YouTube channel, get to watch. A big thank you to my director, to the CCU, to the camera crew, to the engineers, to the MCR, to everyone who has put in effort, to the beautiful TriCaster lady over there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please stay tuned to Dove Television for more exciting programs coming your way. I remain Oluwafemi Odunton. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.